The adverse weather did not spare the villages of Limon Village and areas on North Oruput Road, Fishing Pond, Sand Grandi. As waters covered large areas, marooning many in their homes. However, the most affected were the elderly and those seeking medical assistance. Operations to rescue the maroon were carried out by private citizens, the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service, and the Sangri Grandi Regional Corporation. Boats, trucks, and high vehicles were the only ways to get into the fishing pond area. But as we go deeper into the villages, more devastation could be seen. Homes were filled with flood water, and the looks of hopelessness were seen as many counted their losses. Sangre Grande Regional Corporation Chairman Anil Jutram was on the ground assisting. He helped to recover a pensioner in need of dialysis treatment. He was upset with the lack of resources. And it's unfortunate that a, a level of politics, I, I presume, is playing into this. I cannot see how nothing is being dispatched to a chairman of a corporation. I feel strong about that. For those who just have to sit and wait for the water to subside, they played a game of cards to pass the time. Villager Rooney Mohammed said the water was rising overnight and they are accustomed to these events. We need proper drainage. Mm -hmm. We need proper drainage and we don't have that, so that's what's causing the flooding. And continuing on the journey to rescue Fazan Ali, the mode of transport had to change to boats and high vehicles. After traversing the water, we finally reached Mr. Ali to assist him to get his medical treatment. Mr. Ali was placed in the vehicle, then it was out. Into the night, relief efforts are continuing in the area as villagers hope the floods subside. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.